Welcome back to Carl Thomas Tech Reviews. Today, we're talking about video enhancers and which are some of the better ones for the best price. Now, one of the most popular ones out there is Topaz AI Video, but that comes in at a hefty price tag. Now, another one that I wanted to talk to you about was called AIRT Video Enhancer, and I've got my hands on a copy, so I'm not only gonna show you how it works, but why you might use it as an alternative to a more expensive product. Now, let's just jump on their website for the start. So look, as you can see here, it does all video denoise, deep blur, texture details, slow motion, add denoise, color, and so on and so on. It's got everything. The same things that all the other video AI upscaler programs use, except this one comes at a very affordable price. And one of the interesting things is you can buy that for 165 US dollars and that comes with unlimited lifetime downloads. Whereas Tropis AI, you have to pay to keep upgrading it each year. So for a lifetime enhancer, I think that's actually a pretty good deal. And right now it's on sale. Anyway, let's jump into the program itself and I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. Some I've downloaded from their site and some are mine. I've got some really terrible quality videos, some average ones, some ones from the 30s, and we're gonna see how they match up, how long it takes to export. Now, look, these programs, they are running locally, so they may take a bit longer than if you were to do these kind of things online and pay per video. Let's just jump into it. All right, so here the program is here. As you can see, I've put in a couple of videos already and you can just scroll left to right and that will show you like on the right side, the enhanced and on the left side, the unenhanced. So you can really see, look, look as it comes over this building here, the original blur and how much that, comes in that now you can choose to upscale it now also you do you do have three different ai models they give slightly different results depending on what you go for now honestly i have found the top one which is called mo detail works the best you can also edit the videos flip them rotate them crop them even color them so you know you can add change the temperature change the tint give it more exposure. So if you're not using any editing program and you purely just want to upscale that one video and then put it somewhere, you can do that just within this app, which I think is pretty cool. It also has an audio denoise feature. So if you've got a lot of audio, I haven't tried that out, but for the moment, let's get to some terrible footage. Right, so here we have got some old footage. It's actually of the Hindenburg disaster. Now, I wanted to get something really old to see how much better we can make it. Um, they're gonna be using this sort of stuff all in the future to enhance, well, old wartime videos and things like that. Now, this was shot in the 30s, I believe. As you can see here, it's filmed or exported the file in 720p. And I'm just gonna select this little bit here, not the whole video. And then when you press add task, that makes sure it only does those seconds. So you, sure, here you can see it does from one minute 27 to one minute 38. And then I choose the settings and press export current. Now down the bottom here, you'll see it says waiting to start. And here we go. Now look, because I have only done about 10 seconds of video there, that's probably gonna take on my computer roughly 20 to 30 seconds. So we'll just skip forward until this is done. And what I'm gonna do is do a few videos and then show you the results of each of them. All right, that is now complete and we can just press open. This should be it. All water ballast than ever before in vain efforts to level off. Gotta say, that looks 
much clearer. Obviously, it's old black and white footage, but let's try something different. So look, here is a video of me. And currently we set it, let's set it at 2K, because as you can see, there's the original footage. Now, you can really see it brings out the detail in my eye here. There is quite a bit of missing information on the light here. Remember, this is a terrible video. But look at that, right? So this is something really low quality. Look at my nose ring here. Also then, as I said, you can color the video. Maybe that matches up a little bit better. You can, you can edit it. Let's uh, change the contrast a little. Let's take down the highlights if we can. And if you want, you can make it, you know, slow motion, 60 frames a second. Let's not bother with that at the moment. Let's just do this. And this is only a five second video. So we're gonna press add task. It'll come down here, press modify, apply, export, and away we go. And as you can see, it's just zooming along down here. As I said, that's, that's just a six second video. Originally, this was 320 by 640. This was a really low quality video. And we're exporting it at 2K. Okay, now we can open it. Birthday from Australia, mate. All right, so here is the original side by side. I can't play them exactly the same time, but but you can see it's surely made quite a big difference, especially for something that's 360. Now let's maybe do a better example video. What do we have here? All right, here we have a Ferris wheel. Now check out this. Before, you can really see the grain and the blur and after. That is crystal clear. And that's only a seven second clip. So we're going to use the AI model. We're gonna upscale it twice. You use Turbo if you want to save some time. I've got a fast computer, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to bother changing the colors, editing this. Look, why don't we make it 60 frames a second? Why not? And task. Modify, apply. And as you can see, it's going from 1920 by 1080 up to 4K and it was 25 frames a second, and now we're taking it to 60 frames a second. So you'll be able to use it in slow motion if you need. And we'll just press export task. That will do its thing again once along the bottom here. And, you know, it's probably gonna take 20 seconds or so for that seven second clip. All right, that is finished. So we can open that up. Have a little look at it. it. Certainly makes a difference. Let's see what it looked like before. You can really notice that. Now, one thing to give you a proper example, I'm gonna open up DaVinci and I've put in both video files, the original video file and the test video file. First, we have the old video. You can really see the grain here. And then it will skip to the enhanced video. How much of a difference is that? But the beauty of this is I can now get that video, go to speed, reduce that by 50, make that twice as long and we get a nice slow motion video. Check that out. Now let me show you what happens if I do that to the original file. See how you just get all this jerkiness? Doesn't look good because 
that's only playing at about 14 frames. Now let's go to the other one. How much better does that look? I guess it goes to show this really does make a difference. Now, what, we've got a couple of settings here. Just the output path, exports, export settings, the quality, the audit audio. It's actually pretty simple. You know, you basically just drag and drop in your videos, choose how much you want to upscale them by twice, by four times, make them ultra high definition or make them 60 frames a second or even up to 120 frames a second. And as I said, you can also edit and color within the program. So that is my review of AI RT Video Enhancer. Do I say it's worth it? I mean, for the price, sure. All right, so let's check out Topaz Video AI. They just have a monthly subscription. Annual billing, oh, here we go. 299 US dollars versus 165 US dollars. And as I said, it's a one-time fee and it's free lifetime updates. So it's half the price, does the same thing. Anyway, let me know if you've used this program before. What do you think of it? How does it compare to the other programs? And look, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment below. I am happy to answer all of them. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Carl Tomic Tech Reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.